Welcome to Techrix Info, the engineering tutorial hub. Hi, uh, today we will be learning about the uh, transmission hydraulic circuit. So, a transmission hydraulic circuit is drawn over here. So, this is the hydraulic circuit uh, which is uh, uh, installed in a construction equipment like the backhaul loaders and JCB, Caterpillar, LND, etc. So, this is the same principle uh, they are following. So, let's learn how this transmission hydraulic uh, circuit actually works. Let's identify the components. Uh, here we have uh, the oil cooler over here, and here this is the torque converter over here. Then, um, this is the oil uh, uh, sump, this is where the transmission oil is stored. Uh, here we have the oil strainer and uh, over here this is the transmission oil pump uh, this is a crescent type pump and uh, this is torque converter pressure regulating valve and here we have the torque converter relief valve okay uh, this is the oil filter this is a uh, transmission oil filter and here this is a PME pressure maintenance valve this is also called oil pressure maintenance valve uh, and here we have the idler uh, gear bearing over here and this is the uh, solenoid control valve so this is a solenoid control valve over here which is uh, electrically operated and uh, this is the forward reverse clutch unit here we have the uh, uh, output shaft bearing and uh, this is uh, indicating the forward reverse uh, front shaft uh, bearing over here so before going to the circuit let's identify the circuit lines those lines uh, drawn in red uh, actually indicate uh, full uh, pressure lines and uh, the green shows uh, the exhaust line and the blue actually shows the the lubrication uh, line so uh, now let's see how the transmission hydraulic circuit works uh, so as you can see over here this is the uh, transmission oil through the strainer is the oil is sucked by the uh, transmission oil pump so this crescent type of pump sucks the oil and uh, this uh, pump is installed towards the uh, gearbox itself and it gets its drive uh, from the torque converter the torque converter dock is uh, fixed towards the uh, crescent type pump so it gets its drive from the torque converter and the torque converter gets its drive uh, from the engine itself the prime mover okay uh, uh, so as it sucks the oil and it uh, supplies it towards the uh, transmission oil filter so here the oil uh, get filtered and again get supplied toward the uh, oil pressure maintenance valve so this actually maintains the pressure over here which is required for different operation uh, from here the oil is getting diverted towards uh, two directions as you can see one uh, flow is going towards um, the torque converter so it first reaches uh, uh, the torque converter relief valve then uh, it reaches the torque converter pressure regulating valve and finally it goes towards the torque converter for its functioning uh, so you know the function of the relief valve so excess pressure comes uh, it relieves that particular pressure and through the return line you can see the green line it goes towards the uh, strainer and also here in the pressure regulating valve uh, it also has a, a return line so uh, it goes towards the tank the return line okay now the second phase of it uh, the circuit going uh, from the oil pressure maintenance valve so what happens is that that moves towards the uh, solenoid control valve okay so this unit actually controls the uh, forward reverse operation of uh, the transmission so from here as we select the forward or the reverse switch uh, what happens is that the oil is being supplied towards the uh, forward reverse clutch unit for forward application it, this will be engaged towards uh, the gear for the forward application and for reverse when we select the oil diverts to a different position where the reverse uh, gears get selected by the forward or uh, reverse clutch unit so that's what's happening which uh, reflects in the uh, gearbox on the transmission as we select the forward or reverse so that's been uh, completely controlled by this electron unit that's uh, the electronic unit which is the uh, solenoid uh, control valve and uh, also we can see uh, there are some lubrications happening over here uh, it is like uh, from uh, the oil cooler as uh, the 
torque converter line you can see the blue line is going towards the oil cooler and it cools uh, the uh, transmission oil from there then it comes back from there and enters uh, the forward reverse clutch unit and it cools the forward reverse clutch unit and also uh, cools the uh, output shaft bearing also so it has been cooled there and uh, here also the uh, return line coming from the oil pressure maintenance valve or the uh, pressure maintenance valve PMV uh, uh, cools and lubricates the idler gear bearing okay then it goes towards uh, the uh, tank uh, return line through the return line and here also there is one line uh, coming from the charging uh, pump or the transmission oil pump which further comes and cools the forward and the reverse uh, front shaft bearings and lubricates them and then it goes back towards the uh, transmission oil sump. So that's actually how the transmission uh, hydraulic circuit of a uh, backhaul order construction equipment works. So I believe you got it working. For more engineering tutorial video updates, please click the subscribe button on top of this video. If you have find this tutorial useful, please click the like button or drop a comment to motivate us. We are also available on Facebook. Thanks for watching this video.